In this video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get that Instagram faded look in your photos using Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. Now this particular effect works pretty much with any photo. You've got a landscape photo, portrait, urban, cityscape, to be honest, go wild with this because this effect works well with pretty much anything. It's a really nice effect that I like applying. So I've go ahead and chosen this photo here. And as you can see, it's a really nice photo of a girl and it's got highlights, shadows, midtones. You can see pretty much the histogram is full there, which is really nice. So to create this effect, firstly, you want to go down to the basics panel. What you want to do is go to our blacks. You want to raise those up ever so slightly to around about 30%. Then in texture, I'm gonna go add in 10% texture. I'm going to leave clarity alone and in 5% dehaze. Now in vibrance, what we're gonna do is take that and I'm gonna drop that down ever so slightly by minus 15% there. And then with saturation, we're gonna drop that by five. So what we're doing is we're brightening the kind of black areas and then we're slightly desaturating the photo. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna turn off the basics panel and then we're gonna go down to tone curve, which is where we're going to be making our major change. Now making sure we've got point curve selected, so that's this section here, making sure we haven't got this one selected. This is our parametric curve, we don't want that, we want our point curve. Now inside our point curve, we want to take the black section, which is the far left-hand side here, this little icon, and we're gonna bring that up to around about here, let's say. So an output of, let's say, 60. So we wanna have an input of zero and an output of 60. Then what we want to do is take the shadows and we're gonna bring those down to almost the same level here. So we've got this kind of S kind of curve. And then what we're gonna do is take the midtones and highlights and we're gonna bring those back up again, adding back in that contrast we've just lost. So as you can see, we've got a very subtle F curve falling into this matte effect. If you want it less strong, you can drop it down, but I like having it quite high. Uh, and I will go for something like so. So you want to have an effect that looks similar to this. And what we're gonna do is turn off that. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our effects here. We're gonna go to our post cropping vignette and we're gonna add in an ever so slight vignette to this particular effect. So we can go for minus 10 there. And I could do is show you the before and after. So if I go ahead and select this button here, it's a very subtle change, but if we go to the black areas, you can see they've got this matte effect. And it creates this really nice faded look. And I must say something I really, really like. And here's a few other photos. So here is the before, and here is the after. As you can see, a few photos on screen, it worked well with pretty much anything. So if this particular effect worked for you, make sure to write it down in the comments below.